back to my happy home and welcome if you're new. I'm so happy you stopped by. How are you? You guys, in today's video, we're going to go outside. I'm going to show you how I spruce up my back patio for the summer season. I will be doing a separate video on my front patio. And uh, I have to mention that I haven't uploaded um, every Friday. Uh, I've missed it twice already. The reason for that is that I've been doing a lot of planning, working out details, getting my uh, house or my downstairs prepared for installing a completely new floor. So I will be doing also a separate video on that, giving you the details, showing you uh, what it looks like right now and why I'm going to change it. So I haven't been doing any indoor decorating because I just thought there's no point because I have to clear out the space entirely uh, in about uh, a week or three, four. And so I thought, why, why bother? But I've been outside doing some DIYs and painting because it is that season, the weather is great outside. And I wanted to really give my uh, back patio a completely fresh look. I haven't done so for the, for the spring season, but I really wanted to do something different for the summer. Well, I've been standing inside here doing this intro. The reason for that is I, well, I, I just feel awkward speaking English to you while my neighbors can listen to every word I say. So I just decided to do the intro inside. So it's a little bit strange because this is better to do it outside, but well, we have to work with what we have, right? But anyway, let me show you outside um, what the space looks like right now and um, how we're going to, how I'm going to decorate it. I'm going to take you along with me for that. I do have to say I did a lot of weeding, gardening and cleaning up the space already. So I won't bother you with that, but I will insert some clips uh, here and there just to share with you how the space looked like and what I've been doing. But without any further ado, let's get started. Welcome to my happy home where I bring you DIYs, hauls, home decor, thrifting and much more on a budget. If you're interested in these types of videos, then please like, comment and subscribe. Let's step outside where I, where I will show you around and telling you uh, what I have going on in this space. And uh, I'm going uh, to shut my screen door there so the bugs don't get in and the flies and stuff like that. But anyway, I love this area here because it is so bright with a lot of colors. And my geraniums, the two up there, they're going already into their second season. And my mums, you guys, they're going into their third season already so i don't really need to keep on buying these plants or those annuals as you call them because they just survive the winter now here is an overview of the uh, backyard and my seating area and like i said i did a lot of weeding and gardening uh, already let me show you that this is just right at the beginning of spring after the winter season i just went outside and did a lot of yard work to clean it up and then after that i gave my tiles a wash with a water pressure or with a high pressure washer and as you can see here these tiles haven't been washed yet um, uh, and i don't think they will be still but you can totally see the difference how bright and clean uh, these look and i absolutely love that i always do that once a year in the spring season just to clean up everything now um here again is a overview and let me show you uh, a little bit of what i've got going on i have uh, these lanterns i just purchased these um, a few weeks ago i love that they are battery operated so they go on and off by themselves but i love my seating area here and these tables you guys let's talk about these for a minute i purchased these uh, a few years ago and they are actually indoor tables and this is what they look like they were all weathered the um, the paint was all chipped and they were looking awful it was terrible but i so love these because they are really heavy really sturdy i love the glass insert 
and well like i said they are indoors so um they just didn't um stand well against the weather outside but anyway i really love how they looked when they were new and i am going to restore them so i uh, sanded them down really really well till all the paint wasn't coming off and then i gave it two coats of uh, outdoor acrylic paint and they are looking absolutely beautiful look at them how fresh and nice they look now you guys let me know down in the comments below how are your how is your experience with solar lamps i had these last season and they didn't even last me a season so that's why i got those battery operated lanterns because i think these are so much better and well let's not talk about this rug it is way way too small for this space but i did came up with an idea this year because i didn't want to spend that much money on a large rug but i still wanted one so stay tuned i will show you that in a minute now here in the back i had my two outdoor canvases out and i love that they bring so much color and brightness to the space and here i got a bunch of stuff lying around my steps to the pool and my garbage bin and here i have some lanterns and omg these were looking so so terrible they were in an extremely bad shape and i also picked up this plate holder this was a thrifted find and well let me show you what these lanterns look like this is what they look like because of the weather of course they were rusty and well they just didn't have the nice look that they had before and this one was extremely done with but i thought i would just uh, clean it up you can see here that the paint was chipping away but i gave everything a good send down and i spray painted them and gave them a really nice and fresh look and the plate holder this is what it looked like it was like this uh, brown metal and yeah totally not not nice so yeah ever after i gave everything a spray paint they are all nice and fresh now here underneath this table i need to uh, clean this up i have some stuff that i need to put away some stuff that i need to get rid of and i have here this bench this bench is something that i made myself out of pallet wood and i am so happy with how it turned out but after i gave it a wood stain i didn't like the color of the stain it was way too orangey for me but my mom she said she wanted it to put some plants on it so and i still have some pellets way back in the in the back there as you can see and i'm going to make a new one and i will be doing a video on that so make sure you stay tuned now also what i wanted to share with you is this other outdoor lantern that i just recently purchased and i uh, love these because they are weatherproof they are all uh, ip44 and these give out such a beautiful glance and such a beautiful glow at the evening and in the well <laughs> in the in the evening but anyway here's again a overview of this space and before we actually get started i'm going to show you what i'm going to do with the rug first i want to share with you these super cute outdoor cushions you guys they are so so cute with the lemons the butterflies and the florals so summery and i love the colors i love the yellow and the blue and then i found these rugs and these are actually way well not way too small they are still too small but they are larger than the one that i had right now i just thought i would just stitch them together making one large rug and that is exactly what i'm going to do but i was so happy that they were going so well with the pillow and just the colors are perfect together you can just uh, flip it over and use the yellow side but i really love the summer look on this side of the pillow so those are this is the side that of course i am going to be using 
now next what i want to show you is this um lounge bed well actually it's more like a uh, beach stretch bed and i had a lounge bed a very nice one but it broke last year and i love to have a lounger in my yard but um since i didn't want to pay uh, a lot of money for a good one this year I came across this one for only 25 euros and I thought it would help me out this summer or at least till I find the one that I really want. Now, um, yeah, that's being said, let me show you what I did to the rug. Now, it turned out that one of the rugs was actually a little bit longer than the other one. But that is okay because I thought I would just remove the stitches and um, make it a little shorter. Because as you can see, it is a bit crooked stitched. It was <laughs> stitched a bit, <laughs> a bit crooked. Wow, that was really tough for me to say. But anyway, the stitching wasn't going well. I, it was so hard. Not at all what I was expecting. So I thought I cannot do this the entire rug. So I had to come up with something different, something easier and something faster. So what I thought was just to use duct tape yes you guys duct tape i use it to fold down um, one of the rocks to make it um, even with the other one and then just tape them together and i really love it even better because the seam is perfect now i am ready to take it outside now I'm going to clean up the space before I lay down the rug and I wanted to show you this you guys. This is the actual green that this rug was, like this beautiful bright green, but it turned blue because of the sun. Now I do hope that my new rug will stay the same color, so let's keep our fingers crossed. Now I had these beautiful yellow florals and some uh, pigs that I wasn't using anymore and I thought that they would go perfect with uh, the yellow in my uh, cushions. So I thought I would create a new arrangement for my outdoor tables using these pigs and florals. I'm just arranging them starting from the middle working my way out and at the end I am filling the pots with some gravel that I got from my own backyard to make it heavy because I do not want them to be blown away by the wind. So they are nice and sturdy and they can sit on the tray um, at any time. Now I did drill some holes in this tray so that the water could slip out but since they were really flat on the table the water couldn't go anywhere so I am using these uh, anti-skid uh, skid stickers. <laughs> they do elevate the trays a little bit more from the table so that the water could easily flow out. And these lanterns were thrifted fine from last season and I love 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 them and I use them to burn my citronella tea lights in them to keep the mosquitoes away.
Now let me tell you a little bit more about these outdoor chairs. I am absolutely in love with these. I got these I think four or five years ago and I think they are very unique looking and it is something that you don't see every day. And when I purchased them, um, I believe they were only uh, available that year. And after that they weren't uh, carrying them anymore. And I love that they are so bright white and the color doesn't change in the sun. They are light weighted and very comfortable and you can stack them to store them easily. And another thing that I love is that these chairs have these holes so you can tie the pillows to it that prevents them from slipping and uh, all the pillows come with a zipper so I can remove them and throw them in the washer at my convenience. Now I'm the type of person that tries to do a gazillion things at the same time. So I start something here, then finish something there. So I had a lot going on, things hanging around, lying around everywhere. So it's time to clean up. And one thing always leads to another. So when I try to clean behind this table, I thought, well, just cut off a few branches that were sticking out. And like I said, one thing led to another and I was at it for about 20 20 minutes but I was really satisfied with it because afterwards it all looked very nice and fresh again. Now I also have this little seating area in the back of my yard and this is purely for decorative purposes because I don't sit here but as you can see this is not looking good this chair is worn out it is rusty and here is the lantern again and this table had also seen better days so I thought I would refresh this space as well this isn't a space that always will look like this because uh, during the summer I will have my pool out here so it takes up this entire space in my backyard here but in the meantime I do like the space to be nice so what I did I sent down the table and the chair then I gave them a good wipe down and then I spray painted them first I used this a rustic converter and primer in one and then I went over it with this um, heat resistant silver paint and it, it's a resistant up to 800 degrees Celsius Now I've cleaned up everything and this is what this table is looking like. I don't think I'm going to do a lot to this space because I need this when we eat out here. I just wanted to show you these lantern that I spray painted as well. And they didn't always look like this. And here is a picture of what they used to look like. But I think I am done for today. So it is the next day and let me tell you yesterday was extremely hot and I'm just starting off today and it is hot again but it, you cannot see it but I am literally sweating my brains out. Now I was hanging up these outdoor lighting and my camera wasn't recording but I still wanted to show you how I hung these up. I wanted to create a, a wall of lighting here and they are on a timer so I don't have to worry about uh, turning them on and off so anyway I love this space because uh, you are going to see that in a minute it's the space where I like to lounge and I had these two um, wooden tables they were made of uh, they are made of pellet wood uh, I didn't make them but still they were looking kind of worn and I did refresh them gave them a new fresh coat of paint and now I am uh, decorating this space with the plants that I have. And I was thinking instead of having all these plants scattered all over my yard, I would put them all together in this place, trying to create uh, some kind of oasis. 
so you're gonna see that when it's all finished so that's what i'm doing i'm putting all my uh, plants that are in pots i'm going to put them together right here okay i'm not sure if this thermometer is correct but it sure feels so hot you guys and now i am ready to install my stretch bed and i absolutely love how easy that is to do and the other thing i also love about this uh, stretch bed is that the head cushion can be removed or adjust to the height that you want and i have this uh, red cushion it was for my previous lounger and i absolutely love the pop of red and brightness that it brings so i have no intention of switching that out uh, anytime soon and here I'm opening my umbrella and you guys I have to say I absolutely love this umbrella I got it I think about seven years ago it was only 50 euros and I love that it could withstand the test of time and weather now at the time I knew it wasn't big enough to uh, cast a shadow over the entire sitting area but I didn't mind that my yard is facing southwest so I have the sun the entire day here but I do have this sun screen attached to the house that can provide some extra shadow finally i am ready to share with you the reveal i absolutely love how this space turned out everything looks so much fresher and nicer now so a little bit of paint and some spray paint can go a long way as you can see you don't have to get rid of anything that you have just give them a refresh and they are good as new now here is my lounging area i absolutely love how this space turned out so you guys that is it for this video i am going to leave you with a small tour how everything is looking like and make sure you watch till the end of this video because i am also inserting some clips of what this space looks like in the evening with the lights on now for now i want to thank you all so so much for watching i hope that you have enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below let me know what you think of this space and how i did on refreshing it if you're new to my channel i would absolutely love it if you would consider hitting the subscribe button and become a resident of my happy home for now thank you take care and always remember to live laugh and love see you in the next one bye